Incredible video shows dangerous flash flooding overtaking a Wentzville preschool, but now the aftermath. Fox 2 meteorologist Bridget Mahoney is live at Future Stars Academy with the cleanup. Bridget? Yeah, hey, Catherine, the cleanup is going to take a while. That's as water completely filled this stairwell. It actually broke through this door here, which you can now see is covered up by plywood, even leaving some toys behind it. As the water rose, kids were in the building, but luckily they weren't right behind this door. The kids had just laid down for nap throughout the entire building. Nap time not so quiet yesterday afternoon in Wentzville. And all of a sudden the receptionist goes, oh look, there goes our sign flying across the window. A rude awakening at the nonprofit daycare Future Stars Academy. At that point, we just immediately went into panic mode and we wanted to get the kids safe. So we just immediately woke everyone up. The kids actually did really well. They were a little freaked out as to why we kept going up and down the stairs and it's raining a whole lot and thundering and everything. Kids aged seven months to six years old moved to the basement with no windows. Fortunately, staying above the lowest level of the basement, the level that flooded moments later. I noticed that the stairwell was filling up with water too. The water rushing in from this door, rising quickly, creating for a whirlpool like motion. You you can actually see how high the water rose halfway up to the windowsill, sparing some furry friends while others weren't so lucky. Luckily, no one in the room, regardless a tough loss. So anyone with ADHD, ADD, sensory processing disorder, autism, that's their room. But now we have to worry about all of their equipment. Over $2,000 worth of damaged toys. Cleanup now underway, starting with fans and filtration. Serve Pro removing drywall today. A GoFundMe now started. The goal, $20,000. Once we've replaced everything in the room, we're going to actually use what's left to help our teachers and our staff who are without an income right now. And for those wondering, the panda, he's going to be okay. We're going to restuff him with some fresh stuffing after we wash him up and everything. Then we're going to display him and we're going to give him a little plaque or something that says, you know, survivor of the flood of 2021. And of course, you have to have a good attitude about Panda Bear. We will have to get him a name. Also, I do want to mention you can see the street that this daycare is on. It slopes down. So with several inches of rainfall in a matter of 30 minutes, the drains just couldn't keep up. And we actually saw crews here looking into this drain this afternoon. Reporting live in Wentzville, meteorologist Bridget Mahoney, Fox 2 News.